The Mountains to Sea Trail is an idea that was generated in the early 70s uh, as part of the North Carolina trail system. And from that network uh, selected the most viable route that would extend from the Great Smoky Mountains all the way to the Outer Banks. It's, it's an idea that captures people's imagination. Uh, it's an idea that uh, has enlisted uh, hundreds of volunteers, and that really is the heart and soul of the trail. You know, the trail is a physical path. The land it goes through is a, a physical area, but the people who love it and build it and maintain it are really the heart and soul of it. It's been an extremely challenging project, as you would imagine, to build a thousand mile trail across the state. But that, you know, that idea, just people wouldn't let it die and just kept working on it. It looks really rural, but it, we're in, right in the heart of the triangle. And this is accessible by you know, half a million people really, really easily. One of the primary goals we had at the outset was to envision what people might be able to experience outside of their cars. I think uh, as we are an aging population that more and more people are looking for ways to stay active and healthy and outdoor trails and outdoor parks and recreation pursuits are a major way that that can, can occur. The neatest thing about it is that you really see North Carolina. They think of the state as this extraordinarily beautiful and diverse place and the trail represents that. Uh, the Mountains to Sea Trail is helping protect North Carolina's environment because it really will create this continuous um, corridor of, of protected um, land throughout the state. And that's what actually makes it one of the most challenging projects, too. How do you maintain a long-distance trail that traverses numerous counties, numerous jurisdictions, uh, federal lands, uh, state and local government lands, and some private property? From the outset, the trail would succeed if and where people locally took pride in it. What I am certain of is that this trail is going to be, become more and more enjoyable and more and more people are going to be out using it and seeing North Carolina one step at a time. I, I think the human spirit is what inspires us to do this type of work, not only for ourselves, but for those who will follow us, literally. We as volunteers now believe in leaving a, a legacy, that, that we know that this trail we've eked out here on the side of the mountain beside the Blue Ridge Parkway will likely be here long, long past our time. And that's inspiring. You know, there, there really is a, a unique sense of accomplishment when you are part of something bigger than you are as an individual.